But when will the specialists settle the issue? Still reasoning with numbers, Moto Kimura insists that molecules evolve far more steadily than animals evolve. He doesn't deny that natural selection plays an essential part, but says that neutral mutations, subject only to chance, are much commoner than biologists like to think. Supporters and opponents alike find ammunition for their arguments in the abundant variations in molecules, even within populations, discovered by Richard Lewontin here. For him, the controversy is the leading issue in evolutionary biology today. In a Californian orchard, he's trying to see whether chance or changes in the environment govern the makeup of populations of flies. Of course, I don't think that this experiment, any more than any experiment I can think of or any theoretical development that I can imagine today, will really decide the issue. I have no great passion about this issue, although I think Kimura has done us a great service in emphasizing more than we used to the random elements that are involved. It's interesting to ask why it is that evolutionists like other scientists get themselves so deeply involved in a scientific controversy which, at least for the moment, cannot be solved. I think that's because scientists, like other people, search in what they know, in their science, for some support for ideas they have about human welfare and human history. I don't think that the theory of evolution is any more relevant to problems of human welfare than, say, the law of gravity. Uh, human welfare and human future will depend and has depended on the way in which people have come together in social and political organizations to solve their problems of dealing with each other and with the material world which they have to transform for their own welfare. The fact that I'm a middle-class American with all the advantages, both material and psychic, that, that uh, go along with that position, and not, say, an Indo-Chinese peasant who has suffered so severely at the hands of my country is not a result of genetical differences between us. It's a result of a long history of social and economic and political organization and power. Uh, what's at issue for us as human beings is not what our genetical future is, but what our social future is. And that is a matter which we can determine ourselves without reference to our genetical differences. Evolution is a progressive process, and man, the summit of evolution, has finally developed consciousness. Possibly evolution is dropping towards still higher states. It may be that search for God is the highest manifestation of evolutionary process today.